Real quick, y'all, I'm doing a giveaway of everything you see here. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and comment your favorite part of this video. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Firebird Austin here. I'm out of Creek in North Georgia with my cousin Connor. We are after Chattahoochee bass, shoal bass, and spotted bass. I'm primarily going to be throwing the rooster tail, a Ned rig, and the Berkeley Choppa. If you're trying to get Chattahoochee bass from Bassland, if I can get one over 10 inches, it'll be a Georgia Angler Award and possibly a state record. Let's see if we can do it. What? My rod broke. No way, dude. No way. That's the very first cast of the day and the rod just snapped. And over here is less rocks. It's just sand, so it's a lot better. Okay, here we are. This is the spot I caught my Chattahoochee bass in last year. I got a fish. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful, beautiful Chattahoochee bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Connor. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful Chattahoochee bass, guys. As long as it's, as long as it's at least eight inches, it counts for the slam. 10 inches, it's an angler award and a state record. Okay, it's not 10. It's not gonna be a state record today, but it is nine and a half. Look at this beauty right here. Look at the beautiful red fins. They're so bright red, that's ridiculous. This is amazing. This creek only has pure Chattahoochees. Praise the Lord, this is amazing. I'm gonna go and release her. She's not quite an angler ward. She's nine and a half inches. So if I can catch one over 10, I'm gonna submit it as a state record as well. So, let's get her back in. Oh my gosh. Ooh, let's go. Come on, another one. I cannot believe it. No way. Is it bigger or same? It's smaller. Yeah. No freaking way. Oh my gosh, dude, that's insane about the same that's crazy look at that look at that guys the beautiful red on them see you dude cast it up ahead and then pull it back yep i just saw one someone who's a little guy dang oh there he is there's two in the middle right there Oh, he's scared of that. Well, the bigger one may have been eight inches. The other one was probably like five or six. Oh, he went after it. Someone oh. went after it. Oh, when you feel him tapping, let them keep tapping it and then don't set the hook until they run with it. Oven. Oh my gosh, bro. I just had, there's one right here. Oh my gosh, he came out and grabbed it. Connor, 
See that shade pocket over there? Cast back there. Right in that corner, directly underneath that tree. Get it as close up underneath that tree as you can. Yep. It was a good one that came out and grabbed it. Do it. Because there's bass to be caught. Oh my gosh. That's not even a, a bass. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to you from here. You just have to go straight across. If I go straight across, I might not ever come back up. I think I just caught a tiny, tiny little, like, I don't know what that was. It's a creek chub. You see one? Oh, got one. He's tiny, too small for the slam. Wow, that thing's beautiful. Oh, I got something. Would you like a rooster tail? That was my first cast over there. You can take this very exact rooster tail. Let's just switch lures real quick. There you go. Just let it hit bottom, which doesn't take too long, but let it hit and then start giving it little taps. Tap it more than you reel it. And just reel in the slack. My fourth one of the day. Wow. Never caught more than one in a day. I've only caught one before. One pure. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Just let him go right here. Off you go, buddy. See you later, dude. I didn't see any follows. Go further to the left. Oh, he came off because I didn't horse him in. It's literally right there. If you're going to go that slow, you can give it some shakes. Like shake it as you're reeling if you're going to go that slow. Yeah. On your very first cast over there, I thought I saw something like dart across but then turn away, but I could have been wrong. It was just so far away, it could have been a reflection off the water. Well, let's try that right there. Oh, I should have cast a rooster tail up here. Oh my gosh. Not a bad one. How big are you? I don't think he's 10. Where'd you just get him at? Way up there, like right up against the bank pretty much. The Chattahoochee is about nine. Oh my goodness, beautiful Chattahoochee bass. All right, let's get this girl back in the water so I can get Connor unsnagged. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Dude, it bit as soon as it hit the water. All right, all right, I'm just gonna be your guide. I apologize, I'm done catching fish until you catch one. Hey, how you doing? Do you own both sides? Do you own this side too? Or just the law states, if you ask us to stay off your side, we can be over here. We're not after trout or anything. My name's Austin. 
I come here maybe once a year. I clean up my trash on YouTube, Instagram, everything's Firebird Austin. If you want to look me up or anything, just to see who I am. You know, I try and be respectful. You know, it, I understand if you want me to leave, I'll leave. We're not gonna be here too much longer or we weren't planning on it. We're after a specific fish called Chattahoochee bass. There's a little bass with the red fins in here. And so I was just trying to get him on his first one. Is it all right if we just try and get one for a little bit longer and then get out of your way? I appreciate you being reasonable. Yeah, I haven't told anyone about this spot. I've known about it for a year. And this is only the second time I've come here. You said you don't mind if we just fish this shoal and then head out? Okay, I appreciate you, Jeff. All right, you have a great day. Oh, uh, how long was my GoPro tipped over? All right, y'all. I don't know if my GoPro was flipped down because it's not been wanting to stay in place very well, but another tiny, beautiful Chattahoochee bass. So, so small. They're just incredible, incredible fish. I mean, it doesn't matter what size they are. They are all just so beautiful, man. I was hoping to get a state record today, but it's fine. It's fine if I don't. All right, see you, dude. All right, you want to go try and get a shoal bass? Oh, yeah. All right, Connor's now going to swim us downstream. I don't let these rods hit the tree. You're nowhere oh. even close to the tree, Austin. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a fly on my leg. I've already killed like seven spiders. By oh, good. Connor's being our little chauffeur today. Oh, he's swimming us. Let's go, Connor. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, boy! <laughs> just, just FYI, this is not... Dude, I'm doggy um, paddling, dog. This not something we've ever done before, so... Shoot, you might actually... I might just need to hang on to you. Oh yeah? Yeah, just hang on. We're, We're going. We're just going downstream. We're just going. The river's taking us. Just be careful, because this thing kind of flips easy. How you feeling, buddy? I'm chilling. It actually feels really good in the sun. Can't see your face. Connor, watch out for crocodile monster. <laughs> it's a what? Crocodile monster. Probably are some bigger Chattahoochee bass under us. But I'm betting this is where everyone goes to fish for him. We also got kicked out of the spot. Very politely asked to leave. The landowner over here, super nice guy. Um, just basically said that the people coming through leaving trash and everything just kind of ruined it for everybody else. So I totally get that. So we're heading on out. But he was very kind enough to allow us to continue fishing that shoal. So we're just headed down, going down to this. Do you still have it tied around you, Connor? Okay. Well, I'm going to get... Stay right there. I'm going to get slung around. So please let me get slung around a little bit. But don't let go of me. Don't let me flip, okay? I'm about to get thrown around. Hold, hold on to me. Nope, Connor. Stop, stop, stop I'm me. Holding on to you. Stop me. Like, don't keep going down. I need I need to get out right here. This is, had that. This is not a class made for trolls. I, I need to get out. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very unsafe. <laughs> we had that. No, we didn't. Okay, yeah. I'm getting out. All right, pull me, pull me up there, please. So, because this is deep right here. This is deep for me. This You're thing. freaking woman. Connor Briggs. Huh? All right, I'm hopping out. Oh, yeah. Dude, this thing is super, super duper unstable. All right, we're good. Service now? Probably not. Probably about the same as before. I feel so bad. Why? The girl probably thinks I left her on open. What girl? The girl I snapped right before I got out of the truck. What's her name? I don't know. It's a friend. It's not the girl that you're talking to? It's a friend, Austin. Golly, I'll turn the camera off. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Oh, 
no. Well, thing is, I got it way back in there. Oh man, that could have that could have been the one I was looking for. That could have been the Sith I've been looking for. That could have been Sheev Palpatine right there. Got one. Oh my gosh, this one's good. I need the bucket. Oh my gosh. That might be the biggest of the day. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you in the bucket for a second. Come on, double up, double up, double up, please. I had to skip cast this way back up in there for anything to even chase it. Like I had to get it up in the branches. And if you want to try and do that with that, what? go right for it. Really, dude? Oh, that's it. Nine and a stinking half right there. Yeah, this beautiful Chattahoochee bass right here. This is tied for my biggest of the day. They don't get very big. Uh, Georgia Angler Award is 10 inches. Georgia Angler Award for largemouth is 10 pounds. So, but he's really tiny for bass, but big for a Chattahoochee. There he goes. Whew, let's go. Oh, you're on one. Oh my gosh, yeah, you are. Whoa, that one's a very leucistic one. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, he came off in the bucket. Let's go. He came off in the bucket. Dude, Let's go. What you got... is that? What is that? All right, take the net. Take the net. So is that a red eye? Yeah, this is Chattahoochee. Yep, wet your board. All right, I'm gonna try and help you with this. So Connor just wet the board. This is the most unique Chattahoochee bass. So what he has is a virus. And Connor, you caught an angler. Yes! <laughs> Connor caught a freaking yes! angler. He caught the biggest Chattahoochee of the day. Right, get the picture right there. Cut a Georgia Angler Award. Let's go. So you get a certificate and that's one for the slam. Is this your first bass of the year? Yeah. Your first bass of the year is a leucistic Chattahoochee bass. Angler award. Maybe state record. <laughs> yeah, so you, you want to get it certified as a state record? We can call and just see. Do you have service on your phone? We're gonna carefully get this guy down. You see how I brought my big cooler and put it in my back seat? That's what we're gonna put him in, okay? So how difficult is this gonna be able to do, this is gonna be to do? Not that this? difficult. Here's the only thing. You and I are gonna be waiting here for a, few, a couple hours. Or actually since there's two of us, one of us can drive into town and get food. All right y'all, so unfortunately, when we got a hold of DNR, they said that there's actually another Chattahoochee bass that is waiting in line to be certified as a state record. And it is bigger than the one we have and they've already verified the DNA test and it is a pure. So there's not really a point of going through the genetics process with this guy, if there's already one bigger. The reason why it has not been certified yet is because DNR is still debating whether or not Chattahoochee bass is its own separate species, which if you look at it and look at others, it's like, how could it not be? But you never know. So we're just gonna have to release this guy and pray that we get an even bigger one. He said that the one they have on hold is almost a pound. This guy is like maybe half a pound. So I'm betting they caught it during spawn. So we're gonna get a release on this big girl and pray she gets bigger. And I'll just set her down in the water.
that rock.